Hi there, my friends. Welcome into another edition of Teach Me Tuesday. Today, I'm really just playing with a brand new stamp set to me. Anyway, it's been all out since January, but I haven't had a chance to play with it yet until now. So I wanted to share a little project with you and show you um, how some of this works because it's actually a really cool little set and great for uh, kids and adults alike. So let's go ahead and make a sweet little card featuring this. So I showed you the stamp set. Let me just quickly show you the dies and I'll show you how all of this stuff works. So you can see there's the cute little dies that obviously cut out the little bits and elements. And I'm going to show you what this guy is for and we will make a really cute little card with this today. So let's go ahead and start with a Bermuda Bay cardstock. It's four and a quarter by 11 inches. And I scored at five and a half to make my card base. I also pre-cut a little piece of Coastal Cabana, which this one is um, four by five and a quarter. Sorry about that. I had to cut there for a minute because I had to sneeze. So I attached a one and a half piece uh, one and a half by four and a quarter inch piece of the Bermuda Bay card uh, pattern paper from Snail Mail. And then I have a three and a half uh, by, I'm sorry, four and a half by three and a quarter inch piece of Snail Mail paper here that I just used my corner rounder punch on and cut the corners there. So let's go ahead and tape this to the card. And I'm going to just go ahead and do that like so. And then I have a piece of uh, real red, which is four and a quarter by three quarters. And we can use our pick a pour up, ugh, pick a banner punch. Look at you guys. You know how I always do hand cut my banners? I wanted to show you this because you don't have to do it that way. I just usually do it because I'm lazy and don't want to find my punch. But you can, ta-da! cut your banner perfectly with this cute little uh, pick your border punch we actually have two of them so you've seen me use this one because I like the ornate little edges I don't use this one as much because I can just do that myself although it has the opposite way too so it's actually really handy and you can do half inch three quarter inch and one inch pieces in these so they're really handy to have especially if you like the look of those banners but don't want to do them yourself so I'm gonna go ahead and attach that to the card as well so let me just add a little bit of seal here and we'll attach this eh, a little more than halfway down like that. Okay, so now I have a scrap piece of uh, basic white and I'm going to take my little kangaroo image. I'm going to ink them up this way because I think this ink pad is getting a little bit dry. So my other one is packed at the moment. I should just re-ink this one. I don't know where all my memento ink pads are because I have like seven of them. You know what? This is still really light. I'm going to grab my other one. Hang on. Um, it's right on top here. So I'm going to grab this one. It's a little more, whoops, a little more inked. So there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that here. And it doesn't matter where because I'm going to actually cut it out. Oh, oh dear. I should have used a little mat. Let's try that again. So we'll do this. Let me ink that again. Having these little stamp and pierce mats under you is very, very handy because it will just give you a better image, particularly with these um, photopolymer stamps. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. Better. Yay. And then I'm also going to stamp the little flowers from that set. And again, it doesn't really matter where you put it. We're going to cut those out. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. I'm going to put these back in my bag so I don't bring the wrong one. And then we're just going to color the kangaroo. I have soft suede for my um, marker for him. So I'm just going to color that with my soft suede blends. And I like using the blends because then I can add a little bit more um, shading, a little bit more contrast in the colors for him. So I'm using my um, paint brush end just because it's such a big 
swath of color, it goes a little bit faster. So I usually like to, I don't even know if I started with the light, I did. I usually like to start with light and then go back with dark, but you can do it however you like. So we're just coloring him in. Like so. He's so cute. It was not first on my list, but this one was definitely one that I wanted to grab because it's super cute. And it has lots of sentiments, so you can use it for lots of different occasions. And they're kind of punny, which I like. So there's a, um, thinks a bunch. And um, I'll make him a little darker there. Oh, I think it should be reversed. I think it should probably be lighter here, but whatever. We're going to color my little kangaroo my way. So we'll do that. I'm going to make his inner ear here a little bit darker. I like his nose and mouth. We'll make him have a darker nose too. Okay. So there's him. And then I'm going to use real red, flirty flamingo, and pool party to color my um flowers so i'll make these flowers red like so i like to color my flowers all the same color so that it it makes it easier on my brain so like all these little petal flowers i'm gonna make red because it will just make my life easier although i probably should have done the roses red huh we're going to have pink roses. I'm going to use the light red for the centers of those. And then we'll use the pink for the roses. The larger roses, I guess. I'm going to color in some of these holes because I think it looks weird when there's little holes in there. We'll do this one pink too. And then I'm going to color these little leaves pool party, which I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's what we're doing. So we're just getting the colors here. And again, I'm going to fill in some of the holes so it doesn't look sparse. And I need another pink here. There we go. Cute. Okay, so now I'm going to take my dies. Let me see if I can get the, I'm going to cut this and then I can cut it out with the dies that coordinate. I'm going to use my mini die cutting machine so that we can, is that the right one? Yep. All right. So we can see it here. It's a little bit easier to do on the table or on the video. So I'm going to go ahead and just die cut that. Okay. And then we'll take the little, um, oh, I should have done those at the same time. But that's okay. We'll do them separately. So there's my flowers. I am going to take this little guy and I'm going to cut um, one of these. I don't know where I got that from. Right there. Um, I need to get some more plates for this one. It's getting kind of dented. I'm going to cut one of those. And you'll see what that's for in a second. And then we're going to cut our little kangaroo. So there's that piece, and then our kangaroo, which this goes here, and we'll take our kangaroo, and we'll cut him. Get that lined up, put the other plate on top, whoops, and I moved it, so let me put it back. You could use some washi tape to hold that down if you want. Oh, my hand's really shaky. I'm really hoping 
the puppy hold still for just a little bit longer. She's been in her crate for quite a bit this afternoon. And she's been so good. And I want to go rescue her. So I'm going a little quicker than I probably normally would. All right. So I'm going to take that out. And now we can get this out of the way. Let me put my little die back. And get this out of the way so we can assemble our card. So first off, I'm going to take this and towards the bottom the very bottom as far bottom as you can get we're gonna stamp thanks a bunch i'm gonna put it way down low like that okay and i used real red for that and then we're gonna use a little bit of tombow to just um attach these together so just putting that here. Eh, maybe. Let me try my other one. That one doesn't want to work. There we go. Just a little bit of Tombow. And I'm gonna set these flowers on top like that. And we'll set that aside. Now what's really cool when you cut out this kangaroo, I don't know why I have so much fuzz, you get a little slit in him. So you can see this is now going to slip right inside there. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to, um, we're going to take the little kangaroo here and we're going to attach him with some dimensionals. You can see my mistake on the back side there. Whoops, when you do this, just be careful not to put the um, dimensional where that little tab is going to show or going to be in the way because we don't want to impact it coming in and out of the little pocket or the pouch. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So you got to remember not to put it too close. So we'll do this. Okay. And then this should be dry. So we can tuck him in here like that. Cute, right? And then they can pull it out and it says thanks a bunch. Cute. Okay. And then just to do a little bit of decorating, I wish I had some more of my little white resin hearts, but I don't. I'm out of those. I'm also out of my um, snail mail twine. So we're going to use just a little piece of linen thread like literally the last bits of my linen thread here we'll use this here and we'll attach that with a little glue dot actually my glue dots are packed too so let's go ahead we'll just attach it with a little dollop of Tombow just kind of over here okay like that and then we'll trim that down with some ends here and then we can add just a little bit of bling with some let's use some of these champagne rhinestones we'll just make her all blinged out here one there one there and one here and there you have a super cute little card isn't that fun and voila so that's the kangaroo and company bundle which is really sweet and it pairs really really well with the snail mail um, remember there's just a couple more weeks left of celebration where you can earn a freebie with every 50 dollars you spend so make sure you check out the website so you can see uh the goodies from the january through june mini catalog and then also all the celebration rewards that are currently available because those are only available through february 28th so we've only got what is that a little over a week left with those. So I wouldn't want you to miss out. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.